Hi, it's Kylie and I'm in my kitchen. Today I'm going to teach you how to make paleo pumpkin pecan pie. First, let's start with the crust. I have one cup of gluten-free all-purpose flour, one half of a teaspoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon of cloves, then I'm going to add a quarter cup of melted coconut oil and I'm going to add two tablespoons of maple syrup. Mix until combined and it will be a dry crumbly mixture. Then you'll add just about a tablespoon of ice cold water. The water will help the crumbs turn into more of a pie crust type dough. When it's formed into the dough, I actually place the dough ball into a plastic bag. I smush the dough into a flat disc and then I'm going to refrigerate the dough. For the filling, approximately two cups of canned pumpkin puree, half of a cup of coconut milk, two egg yolks, one whole egg, about two thirds of a cup of maple syrup, some pumpkin pie spice and vanilla, fold into the mixture two cups of ground pecans, and your filling is complete. As you remove the pie crust dough from the refrigerator, let it sit at room temperature just for a few minutes to soften up. Then you will take a rolling pin and roll it super thin to maybe a quarter of an inch to line your pans. I'm going to make smaller versions of the pie versus one big pie, but you can make one big pie if you'd like. If you don't have a rolling pin, you can be resourceful and use a hairspray tin or a cooking spray tin and start rolling your dough out thin. Cut the end off of your Ziploc bag. Also cut both sides open of the Ziploc bag. This plastic bag trick keeps your counters clean when you're rolling out your pie crust. You can also do this for sugar cookies. It's a really fun tool and easy tool to use. A coffee mug is the perfect size for my cake pan that I'm using to make my mini pies. So I'll use this mug to cut out the pie dough so I'll have perfect little ringlets to put inside of the cake pan. So I'll use the coffee mug to cut out six perfect circles out of the pie crust. After I cut out the circle, I transfer it over to the pan and squeeze in the pie crust. After cutting the circles out, you have all the extra pie crust still on your plastic bag and you can just wrap up the remaining dough, put it in the fridge or the freezer and save it for the next time. Poke holes gently in the top of the pie crust and then we're going to par bake the pie crust in the oven for just about five to seven minutes. After you pull the par baked pie crust out of the oven, take a big cookie scoop and the filling and pop it right on the inside. Spread it out so it's nice and balanced and will cook evenly. Once you fill the pie crust with the pie filling, place three whole pecans on the top of your mini pies. If you're making a whole entire pie, you can add, of course, much more than just three, or you can decorate the tops however you'd like. I like three. I think it balances it quite nicely. Once the par-baked pie crusts are filled with your pumpkin pecan filling, top with three whole pecans to make it look presentable. You can add more or less however you want to be decorative. You could even make um, decorations with the extra pie crust. However you decide to decorate your pies, make sure you put the pies back in the oven to finish cooking out the eggs and the pie filling, maybe for about 10 to 15 minutes. 
then pull out of the oven, let cool, refrigerate, and serve.